Hi, and welcome to Ember in Action series, episode 5, Create Books. This week, we'll finish with basic CRUD functionality. We already have read part of it, and in this episode, we'll concentrate on create part. So first, we'll create form component for new book route. Then we see how to use actions to make post request to our fake server. And then we'll see how to redirect to newly created book. So let's get started. First of all, let's go to books.hbs file. And here, right above this books list, we'll simply add another link to for books.new route. And of course, we're going to provide class with button, button primary, and button block. Add new book. Now let's close this helper. So now we need to define this nested route. So let's go to router. And right here, we define this route new. That's all that we need to do. Now if we go to browser, we'll see our button here. But if we click on this button, we see nothing, of course. So as usual, let's go to templates in books. And instead of it, let's create new.hbs file. And this template only will use book form component. So now we need to create this component. So we go back to templates components and instead of it, create book form component HBS file. So here, let's define the simple form with title and with button. So first of all, we'll have this H2 with add new book. And then we'll have very simple form with div class form group. Inside of it, we'll have label with text title. And then we'll have input with class form control. Okay, that's good. And then underneath it, we'll have button with class button, button primary. Call it add book. And of course, we need to specify type as submit. Okay, so very simple form. Let's go to browser and we see it in action. Excellent. So now we need to handle this form's submit event in our component. And for that, we at last need to explicitly define Ember component object because now this component has a behavior unlike previous DOM component we made. So let's define it. In app folder, in components one, we'll define book form.js file. So we import Ember from Ember as usual. We export default ember.component.extend. And here we're going to specify actions object. And inside of it, we'll have our action. So let's go back to our form. Right here, instead of this action here, we're going to remove it. And we add action and we call this action submit. So this name here will be the same as name here submit. Okay, let's make console.log submit it just to make sure that it works. So if we go back here, we also need to add on submit because by default it catches click event, but we need to catch submit event. So we do on submit like this. So now if we go to browser and click on add book button, we can see here in console submit it. Excellent. So we caught this submit event and we processed it in our component. So now we need to get data from the form, check it for validness, and we'll do it later, and pass valid data back to controller or route action. So component itself takes data, renders it, can transform it, and then return it back to specific action. This way we can reuse components in different parts of our application and provide different logic for them. And we will do this with this particular component. So first, let's pass empty book object into this component. So for that, let's go back to new.hbs and here we define book equal book. Very simple. Now we need to provide this book object and we do it in the route. So we need to define route. So we go to app routes books and inside of it we define new.js route. We import Ember from Ember, we again extend route, then we define model and we return here an empty object with title, author, 
and description. Just to be explicit. And then we set up controller as a function which takes controller and model and we set up this on this controller we set book to be model. So this stuff we already done it a couple of times so it's very easy for you now I think. So we save this file and now we need to bind this object to components form. So we pass book model which is just this simple hash and we need to bind it to components form. So let's go back to book form HBS. And to bind it, instead of this input here, we'll use input ember helper. So here we can define class as well, form control, and then specify value. And if we specify value like book.title, this value will be bound to this book title variable. But if we use quotes, then it will be just the hard-coded text value. Okay, so now we can remove this one. And let's go to bookform.js file and console.log this time this.book just to see how it looks like. Let's go to browser. Let's type something, add book. And you can see we have an object. And inside of this object, we have title, which is 111. So it works. So now let's add other fields. So we'll have form group label author and inside of it we'll have another input field with another class form control and value is book.author and the last one is form group label description and for that we want to have text area so we'll use text area helper with the same class form control and value equal book.description like this. So now we have the, the whole form. But now we need to pass this data to route section. And we'll call this action create book. Right, so if we go back to our new.js route, here we'll have actions object and inside of it create action action. This action will take book and it will do something with it. For now, we just console.log this book like this. So now we need to instruct our component to use this particular action. So for that, we go to new.hbs and here we provide action. So the default action for this component will be create book. Now in component section, let's go to component bookform.js. In component action right here, we use this send action. Then we need to specify the name of the action, in our case the just action, which is the same as this one. And then we specify any data we want to pass to this action, in our case this book. So let's have a look in the browser. Now right here, let's define 111, 222, 333, add book, and we have uncaught action create book. Let's go to new.js, actions, oh, create action, create book, of course. Sorry for that. Let's try it again. So 111, 222, 333, add book, and here we go, we have this object. Excellent. So now the last thing is to define this action in the route, so the actual thing. So in route we can use, of course, this store, dot create record and that create records in our store we want to create record book with data book and after that we want to save it to the server let's save it and have a look so now let's click on add book you can see that we have an error of course but in network you also can see that we are making post request to book server and in headers here you can see that we actually pass these parameters about the book with title 1 to 3. So it works. Okay, so now we need to fix our fake server. Let's open mockbooks.js file and here we have this post thing. For this to work we need to have a body parser. So 
for that, let's go to server index.js file. And inside of here, we'll have var body parser equals require body parser. And then we just use this body parser JSON, like this. But of course, we need to install body parser. And for that, we need to go to terminal and run npm install save dev body parser. Okay, so now if we go back to mock books, so what we need to do here in this post action is to push data to the books array and of course assign new ID to this book. So now we can have this new book variable and we can take the data about this book from request body book. Now we can just push it to books. But first, let's define new ID equal to books.length plus one. And then new book.id equals new ID. And after that, we just push it to books. Books push new book. Now instead of status, simple status here, we send the book itself. Let's save it, go to browser, here, one, two, three, one, one, two, 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 done. And you can see that everything works fine. We made post request to books and it returned back our new book with ID four. And here you can see one, two, three by one, two, one, 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 one. So, and even if you reload the page, it still persists. So the last thing is to redirect to the books page. So for that, we go back to new.js right here and ember data save method returns promise. So we can do then function and we'll have book here. And after this, we're gonna have this transition to, and we specify route books.book and of course the book itself. And we need to define this, this equals this. Let's go back to browser. Let's create another one, add book, and we redirect it to this book. Let's create another one, click add book, and here we go. Excellent. So we can create books now. In the next episode, we implement edit functionality and we'll see how this component can be reused. If you like this episode, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video and share it with your friends or follow me on Twitter. If you want to ask any question or simply say hello, go to my blog, ramzalotic.net. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.